Good morning everyone. So today we've come to a city called La Paz, which is on the east coast of Baja California. So it's about just over two hours from Los Cabos where we were in the previous video. And you can get here by bus. Um, yeah, the bus leaves pretty much every hour. So yeah, pretty convenient if you wanna come by bus. And this is the capital of Baja California Sur. So right now we just came to this boardwalk because we're just renting a car over there. And as you can see, there's quite a nice little beach here. So over there is the marina in La Paz. And if you go down, there's just loads of little beaches like this. So as usual, we're going to be exploring a lot of beaches. That is the main thing to do here. And we've been here before when we came here last time. We're planning on visiting some areas and some beaches that we didn't get to visit last time. So this is the car that we've rented that Carol is going to be driving. Yes. What is it? Uh, Nissan Sentra. Yeah, so it's a full size car. So we rented this car from City Car Rentals. I'll put their link in the description because a lot of you guys always ask about where we find the good car rental places and it was uh 40 dollars per day and that's if you're renting like for for a week and the thing we like about this company is there's no hidden fees that's the worry for a lot of foreigners right sometimes you arrive in a country and then you get charged all these extra insurance prices sometimes more than double what you paid for online but with them it is no hidden fee so that is the price that it shows online as well and when we read in the reviews everyone was talking about that that they're good so yeah, it seems like it's a great company to rent a car from if you're in this area. Probably in other areas of Mexico. Yeah, I think they have in Cancun as well and other uh, touristic areas. And also the price already includes the insurance. insurance. So that's also a good thing, a good deal. Yeah, a good deal. And as I said before, we're going to head to the beach now. And the one that we're going to head to is about 30, 35 minutes away. So we decided to stop quickly at the side of the road, get a better view of these cactuses. I'm sure we're going to be seeing them uh, everywhere anyway. Look at the size of this. <laughs> That's so cool. That was the cool mountains I was talking about as well. Literally no cars around here. It's like empty roads everywhere. Desert highways. I don't remember the last time we saw so many cactuses. Maybe yeah, here? <laughs> Maybe here, yeah. Mm -hmm. I remember we saw in, in the East, in the States, United States, but it was like four years ago or something. Yeah, Arizona, New Mexico. Yeah. Yeah, it really is cool. They're everywhere.
we are going to swap the car for an SUV because uh, yeah over the next week over the next few videos we're gonna be doing a lot of off-road stuff so it will be better <laughs> my voice is trembling having fun no, So the beach we've come to is called El Saltito, I don't know if I'm saying that right, and it's a private property so the guy that lives there is like a little farmhouse back there or something. Um, yeah you just gotta pay like a tip to enter, there's no fixed price so you just pay how much you want. We just paid uh, 20 per person, a dollar each and he was fine with that. And this is it, absolutely nobody here, wow. Tiny little beach, right? Mm. Yeah, so there's some abandoned building here. Bizarre. Could be a hotel or something. Yeah, it could be. Maybe that's what the, the plan was. Oh, look at that blue. Yeah, beautiful color blue. That must be those guys' boats. I think they said two people live here. <laughs> One boat each, maybe. decided to buy an umbrella, a sun umbrella, because in Puerto Vallarta they were charging us, I think they charged us $10, wasn't it? Yeah, $10, and the price of this was $10. Yeah, they charged us $10 for like two or three hours, so we thought we might as well buy one since we're going to be using it all the time. It's so windy. Yeah. I don't even know how you do this. Just... You want me to do it? Yeah, just like, like that, this? yeah. Is it deep enough? I don't know, it's really windy. Because so. it's windy, yeah. I think so. Okay. Colorful umbrella. Yeah, it's, <laughs> it's gonna be nice seeing it from the drone. Alright. Good job. We're in business. <laughs> Yeah, this is why we decided to come to this beach though. We didn't realize it was going to be completely deserted. I think there is one more car up there, but for some reason the people haven't come on the beach yet. But this looks absolutely beautiful. That color. So on this side, this is the Gulf of California. It's not the Pacific Ocean anymore. I'm not even sure what the temperature is like. We'll see right now. Oh, still pretty pretty damn cold, but not too bad. Quite nice. Whoa. Definitely some unique looking beaches though with this like desert like landscape with the cactuses everywhere. Haven't been to many beaches like this. Yeah, we said we've seen cactuses in Arizona and New Mexico, but not with beaches. No, especially like this. Yeah, like and I think there's loads. Yeah. Loads of empty yeah, beaches. I think on the, the, the coast. And when we were planning the, our trip, we were seeing like so many different beaches and so many options to go. And yeah, we're excited for our next days here in Baja California. Yeah, there are going to be loads of awesome places. Yeah. You coming in? Yeah. Nice and cold. Yeah, I see water. <laughs> yeah, I was expecting it to be a little more warmer. Yeah, I thought the Gulf of California would be warmer. Maybe it is sometimes. Crazy how windy it is though. I don't think we've had a, a beach this windy during our whole time in Mexico. That guy's got a kite up over there. Have to see how it will be with the drone with all this wind. I'm going to try and take it up because I want to see the other beaches. There's other beaches around the corners, I think. so. Yeah, I think they're all deserted like this. Be pretty cool to see the landscapes. Loving this watercolor though.
that might have been some of the best visibility that I've ever seen on the water. Really is like super clear. A lot of you guys always ask me why I can uh, open my eyes in the salt water. And I don't know, I didn't even know it was something strange until everybody kept bringing it up. So um, yeah, I don't know. I've always been able to open my eyes and it doesn't seem to burn, kind of weird. And back out there, you can see there's a huge island. I thought it was mainland, but we just looked on Google Maps and that is in fact an island. I think it's a deserted island. So there's quite a few islands around Baja California Sur. You can do island hopping and stuff. So yeah, that's gonna be awesome. We did it once before and I think we're gonna plan on doing it when we head to Loreto. We're gonna head to a place called Loreto and that's the place that we've really been looking forward to going because we never visited before. And in the photos, it even looks better than this area, La Paz. So yeah, I can't wait for that. gonna be heading out of here now we're getting hungry and obviously there's nothing around here nowhere to eat didn't realize it was gonna be this deserted we probably thought there would be like some restaurants nearby but once you leave like the center of uh, La Paz literally absolutely nothing just <laughs> cactus trees and deserted beaches so yeah, I think we're gonna head into La Paz eat there and then we'll head on to the next destination Come back to the seafront here in La Paz and we come to some cafe, Las Crepas Cafe and they have really good prices so I think I'm going to get the quesadilla that comes with the uh, orange juice as well, 69. What are you going to get? Um, I think omelette. Omelette, how much is that? Finish. So that meal ended up just costing under ten dollars for the both of us. So yeah, really great price, especially since we were right on the the seafront. So we're at a different area of the boardwalk, and check out this beach. It's way nicer than the one that I showed in the morning when I opened the video. You even got people doing stand-up paddling, swimming. So yeah, it's pretty awesome. Right in the city center, you already get some awesome beaches. You don't need to go far. And back there, you can see what looks like an island, but it's kind of like a peninsula. It is joint to this land. So I think we're going to be heading back there. Carol saw that there's some sand dunes over there, so we thought we might as well check it out. And I think that's going to take around 40 minutes in the car. So 
we made it to the sand dunes. It was a bit closer than we expected, about 30 minutes. These are called Dunas del Mogote. And as you can see, it's kind of a, a brown color, I guess, right? Yeah, yeah. Like a light brown. Mm -hmm. <laughs> We're too windy for that hat, Carol. Probably. Yeah. And the dunes look like they get better over there, so we'll head that way. probably see that car back there there's a black jeep and it's completely stuck like two of the side wheels are way deep into the ground so yeah I wouldn't actually drive on the dunes looks like they tried to drive on the dunes So here we have the skeleton, the remains of a of a whale. Whoa. Is that the skeleton of a whale? I think so. I saw when I was reading about this place, I saw some pictures of a whale dead here. But it was not the skeleton, it was the, the, the whale itself really like not alive, but just dead. Stranded, yeah. Yeah, stranded here, and I guess this is the skeleton. It almost seems like rock, but yeah, I guess whales have crazy skeletons, right? Crazy bones, I mean. <laughs> so I don't know if you can see, but those buildings all the way in the distance there, I think that is La Paz where we came from. So yeah, it is uh, It is pretty far. I think I'll get my drone out for one more flight because yeah, I'm pretty sure these uh, sand dunes will look awesome. Make the most of it before the sun goes down. Through fail. Yeah, nobody's there. So we ended up getting a takeout of Little Caesars or Little Caesars, however you say it. 
pizza. Got some cheese bread and the go-to pizza always, margarita. So this place, La Paisa, has a lot of like the stores and brands that you'll find in America. So it has the big department stores, places like Home Depot as well. I think that's in a an American thing, Walmart. It actually seems like a pretty good place to live. That's what me and Carol were saying earlier because obviously it's beautiful, it's super laid back, kind of seems to have everything you need. Um, it's organized. The quality of life seems pretty high here as well. I don't really see um, much poverty or anything. So yeah, the people seem to have a good quality of life here, the people that live here. And the place that we're staying is $40 on Airbnb. We just extended in cash for around $35. So we got it a bit cheaper. And yeah, it's a really nice little apartment. Here's the kitchen, just everything joined together like a lot of the places. And it also has a super fast Wi-Fi, which is great for us with, um, yeah, with our work. A lot of places in Mexico, when I'm uploading the videos, it takes forever. Sometimes I have to leave it overnight. Some places just don't work at all, but yeah, here's like 15 minutes or something can upload a YouTube video, so that's great. And in the next video, we're gonna be going to an awesome beach that we've been to before called Playa Balandra. And yeah, it's, a, it's an amazing place, easily one of the top five beaches we've ever been to in the world. So yeah, stay tuned for that. As always, just drop a like on the video to support us. Subscribe, like, see more videos like this. Follow us on Instagram, and we'll see you in the next video.